Hey everybody, good to see everybody this morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, so, welcome to Creations by Karen. Today we are going to make a ladybug wreath, which is one of, like, crazy. Everybody voted, everybody gets a ladybug wreath this morning. Good morning. It's good to see everybody this morning. So, um, let's get going, because it's going to take a bit. Hi, everybody. Good morning, Lisa. Okay, so... Uh, the ladybug wreath is really popular, um, and so I thought, you know, because you guys want it. Good morning from Florida. Um, we're going to make it and on a unique in the creek round flower board. Okay, so this is a round flower board. Now I'm going to hold this up so you can see. So I've marked on it where I'm going to put my petals. Can you guys see that? And I've drawn on it, and I've drilled extra holes because, you know, that's what I do. Um, and I've marked on where I'm going to put the the black and where I'm going to put the red and I've also marked where I've drilled the holes so I'm going to hold this up for you guys if you want to screenshot that screenshot away but I will post it on my page so you guys can see the um, grid that I'm using and here is where I've put the extra holes between the two holes on the second row so this is marked one two three and four all right so I've drilled extra holes between these ones Got it? Okay. Good to know. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, and so, yeah, so then I'm going to load them all with tie wraps. Done that. Uh, otherwise, it would take way too long to do. Um, so, let's get going. Good morning, good morning. Hey, everybody. Good to see everybody this morning. All right, so we are going to use black and uh, red mesh to make this um, bumblebee, or sorry, ladybug. So I'm going to show you the fold every time I change color, right? For those people that get late to the party. Good morning, Charlene. All right, so the we're going to start with black. So... <clears throat> This is a 10 inch mesh um, and it's not poly, uh, poly burlap, it's just regular deco mesh. Good morning, gay. Um, and I've cut it in a 10 by 10, 10 meaning it comes in a 10 foot or 10 inch roll and I cut it by 10 inches so it's a perfect square, see? But you're not going to use it all and I need a pair of scissors. Got some. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is, this is going to be curl side up. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, you take your finished, you put your finished edges on the right and the left. Okay, you take your top corner and you bring it down to the bottom one. See that? So it's like a triangle. Okay? Then what I did, <laughs> this took a while. It's called a lolly petal, I think. I brought this piece down, curled it down, so it came down to the bottom corner, see it, bottom corner, and then I curled this one down too, to the bottom corner. So this is kind of what you look like when you're left. And you can play with it to put it however you want, right, so it's like a round, okay? Then. I took a rubber band because I did this while I was I, I did them all while I was making while I was watching TV. Lexi's hanging out. Can you see her? Kind of in the corner. Um, and then I put just a rubber band on it. Good morning, everyone. You shared. Thank you. Okay, so then I put my rubber band on it like that. So this is what you're left with. I'm going to do it again for you. Don't worry. Like that. And then I just cut this excess part off where you have your garbage handy because you don't need that so this is how it looks okay hi from Newfoundland thank you Ida for sending me that information appreciate it okay you guys got that okay super let's do another one let's do another one curl side up the finished edges meaning the finished edges are on the right and the left come to the top hi guys Come down to the bottom, 
Okay, so it's a triangle. Then bring this one down and you just kind of play with it until you get this right. And then you bring this one down too. So it's in a kind of a rounded petal called a lolly petal. It's important to say the name of the petal because I didn't make this petal. Lolly, I guessed it. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so this is the round top that I've got. And then I just put a rubber band on it. Like this. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Whoop, broke my rubber band. <clears throat> Let's put this down. Come around. And you can cut this off and then put your rubber band on. Whatever is easiest for you. You want, kind of want them to be the same size. See how they're the same size? And cut this off. Good morning, good morning. The excess off, like that, right? Now, just to save some time, I did a whole bucket full. <clears throat> and this does take a bit of time to make. Uh, and that's why I pre-folded all the petals. Oh, here comes Lex. And there she goes. Okay. Okay, what are you doing? Down you go. Down you go, okay? Go. Oh. Okay. Go on. Oh. Lost a petal. Darn cat. Ugh. I told her I was going to do this this morning. She doesn't seem to care. Good morning, good morning. Okay. All right, so where I've put my bees means black, right? So I'm going to just take my petal and I'm just going to place it on my board. It's preloaded with lip, zip ties. Take my needle nose pliers and tighten it up. Okay? Just like that. And what I like to do is put all the bottom ones in and then cut them all off. So take my next one, place it in, and here's where you want them to be the same size-ish, ish, being, that's not a word, but I'm using it this morning. All right, so just before you tighten it completely, make sure it's exactly how you want it, and just tighten it up. What kind of mesh did you got there? I have just regular deco mesh. I didn't use poly burlap on this. Some people do, I didn't. Okay? Just put your next petal down and snug it up. Okay, before you snug it completely, make sure they're how you want them. Let's put the next one in. Okay, I want that one. Let's put the next one down. Miss Beginning, are you making a ladybug this morning? Yes, I am. Yes, I am making a ladybug this morning. Good morning, my sister. My sister doesn't usually get to come and watch. She's usually working on Sundays. Well, glad you're here, Tracy. This goes down. And like I said, I put them in and then I cut them off as I got the rows done. So just go through your petals that you've made and find ones that are about the same size. So they're about all about the same size. Good morning. Good morning. You're at work. Is that allowed? <laughs> well, it's good to see you, Trace. Good morning, Andy. Okay, I got my, all my first row of petals in. If you're late to the party, I will post the grid that I've made and uh, show you guys where to place the petals. Okay, got my zip tie cutter here. Just going to cut these off <clears throat> before I go to the next row. Okay, good morning. It's good to see everybody this morning. Now I go around and I turn all the heads of my Tie wraps to the side. Just that's something that I do. You don't have to do this. Good morning, Jeff. 
Camper for me. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got your message. You were late getting back to me, Jeff. I'll message you. All right. All right, so my next row is going in. Once again, just placing my petals in the existing tie wraps. And I turn those heads because otherwise sometimes these don't sit properly. I made two of them about a year ago and swore I'd never make another one. But I've changed my mind. I'll be making a couple of them. I don't think they're that bad. Um, Marilyn, I... Uh, the Sarah flower? Way harder than this. Way. Let's put these down, guys. Yep. <clears throat> you know, it's just... We got lots of time here in Ontario right now as we're in lockdown again and they've extended it for two more weeks. So I'm making a wreath a day <laughs> for each day that we're in the lockdown and they just extended it another two weeks, which is crazy. You missed the beginning, Carol. Can't. Carol? Oh making a ladybug. We're using lolly petals and I will be posting this grid that I've made but where I put the extra holes on the board um, at the end at, like after we're done here. Okay. Okay. So just make sure all your petals are kind of basically the same size. Doesn't have to be perfect people. Nothing in life is perfect. And neither are my wreaths. How lo how's lockdown going? Um, <clears throat> fine. <laughs> so for me, I order a lot of my stuff online. Um, and anyway, you know, and I have a things to do. I crap. I have to make a wreath a day. So while we're in lockdown so I'm kind of busy but I mean certainly you got to find something to do during all this right because otherwise you'd go crazy it sucks yes okay I, I wouldn't use that word but go ahead I agree I agree with that yes it does suck um, but we also have crazy amounts of COVID here um, and so I think if we're going to have any kind of a summer, people, it's got to happen. I know. What Lexi's doing? She's just being annoying. All right. Keep going with these black. And once you have all the petals made, this works up pretty quick. But making the petals and cutting all the mesh, uh, that took a bit of time. So you, 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 you'll need 19 of the black lolly petals and 30 of the red. So that I had to use, and I didn't use um, really good mesh because it's double folded for the red. Uh, so I'll, I got it at, I think it's mesh that I got at Walmart and during Christmas. I'm using that because it works and I had to use two rolls. Um, and just uh, not not a whole roll of black. Right. Okay, so just keep going. Put your petals in. And I've marked on here where I want them, so. Cat. It's a squirrel that comes to my window in the basement and torments my cat. Is crazy. So you just want to make sure all these are about the same size, guys. I know. Right? Lolly petal. Kudos to Lolly that decided to make this petal. They're named after people that made them. I'm still thinking about one that I can make. I haven't got there yet. So I put a thing on yesterday. How many people want to see me do
do an extended two weeks of the wreath a day. What's the difference between a lolly and a spoon? Nothing. I don't think there's anything different. Just the name. Did I make one and I called it a spoon? That was before I kind of knew what I was doing, I think, Sharon. So just cut these off because I put them all in. It's nice that everybody can see all their people on here. Say hi. Okay. So there's my third row. Turn these to the side. Okay. And this is the fourth row. There's only going to be one, two, three on here. Put these in. Okay. Good morning. First time watching. Well, welcome, Maria. If you're new to my page, say hi and tell me where you're from. If you're watching this on YouTube, say hi and where you're from. <laughs> so I just hit a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel this week. It's kind of exciting, I think. There's a lot of people that like to watch my shenanigans. I sent you some pics and a video of the Weir Reese. You, you made the peacock one awesome. That's awesome, Jackie. Yeah, I really love to see you guys um, make stuff. And send me pictures of it. It's great. Good morning. Good morning. Congratulations. Thanks. I know my son called. Mom, he goes, congratulations, Mom, on hitting a thousand subscribers. I went, oh, did I? Okay. Yeah. It's exciting. All right. So we got that row in. Cutting these off. Going off to the side now in a second. And this just stops the other petals from kind of sitting up if you turn these tie red heads to, from the sun. From Naga Falls, New York. And I subscribe. Thanks, Marla. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Here's where we're at, guys. Look at how cute that is. Can't really see it because it's black. I'll hold it up. Look at them. It's cute. Look at the back. It's like so clean. That's why these unique in the crowd. Oh, um, I don't think I can do, I'd be posting the wreaths, um, Marlene. I can't, there's no way that I can do lives on every petal that I've made or every, uh, wreath that I've made. I just, I don't have time to do them. Um, but what I'm doing is, um, each week I post that week's wreaths that I've made and you guys can choose which one you want to if you whatever one everybody likes um, I will do that one on the Sunday way to go Karen thank you well thank you very much um, there's no way I could do every day tutorial um, I'd love to for you guys but I just can't all right so there's the end of my sorry black going in Okay, so there's where we're at with all the black in. Moving on to red. Okay, all right. So I'm going to keep this Chanel stem because I want to show you how do I put this in my head. All right, off to the side this goes. <coughs> And we're moving on to red. I'm going to show you the fold again for those of you who are late to the party. So this is the mesh that I was able to get at, Wal at Walmart in the wintertime at Christmas. Very shiny. Did you switch? Did you do two with five and one with four and one with three? Um... Uh, I think you're talking about, okay, so I did one, one, two, three, four, five. So it's five, one, two, three, four, five. Five and five, two, three, four, five on the third row. 
three on the fourth row and then one on the um, fourth row on the top. Okay, let's make another lolly petal. Okay, curl side up, finish edge right and left, bring this down, put your fingers here, curl this down, and then curl the other side down. Kind of like this. All right? Now I'm going to cut this one off before I put the rubber band on it, and that way I won't be fighting with it. And that's what I usually do. Good morning, Lori Goldfish Franklin. Using Unique in the Creek Board. It's freezing up. Just It's not on my side. I'm to just go and um, go out and come back. It's nice to see you, Lori. Hey, Lori's here. I know. Makes me nervous when she's here. Okay, so that's what the lolly pile looks like. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, curl side up, finished edge right and left. Turn it to a diamond, come down, put your fingers here, come down and pull this around so it comes around in a circle, and then this one too. Okay, scrunch them together. So this is what it looks like morning patch see how it's nice and round and like I said you can manipulate these once you put them on the board cut this off and then put a little rubber band on it all right morning Jerry you love your lolly yes yes I'm doing a ladybug okay so there's my Lolly petal. Okay, made two again. For those of you that are late to the party, I'm not going to make these again. You're going to have to watch the replay. Okay? She's doing a ladybug. Yes, she is. Because you guys wanted it. Okay, here's my board. For those of you that are late to the party, I'm going to be posting the grid on my page so you can see. But I have, sorry about this, Lori, I did uh, put some extra holes in my board hope that's okay with you but I wanted a little bit more fullness <laughs> so for those of you that uh, don't know um, the creator and owner of, Uni of Unique in the Creek is hanging out with us today watching me make the ladybug it's a little unnerving but it's good okay so just put the reds in and every other um, Tie wrap is having red. So once again, 19 of the black, and I think it's 30 something, 32 of the red. I'll post it. Somehow I'm casting in the wrong face. Why are you apologizing? Because I'm like manipulating your stuff. So I'm going to go around to the hole outside and put these petals in. So you're going to leave a space in the top so you can put the head. You add extra holes all the time? Huh. When you do the Star Trek petal. I've never done a Star Trek petal. Look at Lex hanging out. Hi, babe. Oh, I got a kiss. Hi, Lex. Lex is here. You watching? Are you watching me make this, Lexi? Huh? Are you? Hi. <laughs> okay, moving forward. Okay, so when you get to the top, I put my hanger up here. <clears throat> You're going to leave that center piece, not put a petal. Because, oh dear. Um, because I'm going to put the head in there. Uh, that's hot. How about you move off of here? So I'm skipping that one and just coming around. You see that? I missed that one at the top. I'll show you in a sec. Once I get these all in. It's 
So is everybody enjoying? Hi guys, better late than never. Late to the party? Sure. Glad you're here though. So, um, <clears throat> so for those of you that, <laughs> can work, I know, beautiful Lex. Yeah, I know. When I first started doing this, she would like come and lay in the middle and, <clears throat> cause I, you know, I live alone and I, and she thinks I'm talking to her. I hope you have six weeks of ideas. <clears throat> Honestly, I lay awake at night and think, what am I putting on next? Hey, guys. Um, I just, okay. All right. New from Louisiana, I'm making a, a um, ladybug. Good morning, good morning. So, uh... I've been posting every day. <laughs> I think today was day 17, where I'm making a wreath for every day that I'm in lockdown in Ontario, Canada, because we're not supposed to leave our house, apparently. And up until uh, like 12 hours ago, the police, uh, the doc Ford said the police can stop you randomly if you're out and about and wonder where you're going and ask you where you live and why are you out. Crazy. Um, but any place, apparently that's not going to happen because uh, the city that I live in has said, yeah, we're not stopping random people. You shouldn't, you know, it's a violation of something. Anyway, so just cutting these off, guys. Um, so, yeah. So, anyways, I'm in my basement, Craft Central, every day making a wreath. It was originally 28 days. I take it you, right, Lori? Um, 28 days. I just posted day 17. And uh, how many people think that I should extend it for two more weeks? Because <laughs> I've had a lot of people. Does that mean we're going to do two more weeks of wreath a day? What do you guys think? You want to see another wreath for two weeks? A day? A wreath a day? Oh, my goodness. Crazy. Good morning. Good morning. Let me know. I want to see thumbs up if you think I should post an, a wreath for an extended two days. So that's six weeks of wreathing, people. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Look at all the hearts. All right. Definitely extend. All right. Okay. Because all you crazy people want that to happen. Goodness. All right, here's where we're at, guys. Putting all the ones on the outside. Queensland. Nice. All right. Going to the second row with red. Fine. Fine. Okay. All right. First time watching you. So excited. Okay. Glad to see you, too. Um, all right. I will uh, <laughs> continue on with the wreath of the day. Maybe you should do something other than Reese. Uh, I'll think about that. Up to me. Hey, Linda. Uh, okay. All right. I'll keep, I'll keep going. I'll keep doing it. But I think... When, <laughs> how long has it been? 17 days. And honest to God, people... I'm like I'm staying up late at night to finish it and then getting up at the crack of dawn in, if I didn't finish it. <laughs> but I enjoy it, so it's okay. I, hey guys, I've been getting ready for a show. Oh, awesome. What's that giant wreath behind you made from? Grapevine. It's a grapevine wreath. I didn't make it, I, I bought it. I bought the wreath. What are you cutting your, your ties with? Look at this sweet little device. Got, I saw Monkey use this. Hi, Monk. Um, it's, I got it on Amazon. It doesn't have a name. It says 10G Tech. Um, it cuts the tie wraps and snugs them up. What else are you going to be doing? Exactly. And I mean, I'm, I have a lot of stuff in my basement, like... I'm using stuff from my basement or stuff that I can order online. 
Mostly stuff from my basement. Better than sitting in front of a TV all day. Right, Lori? I know. Um, I just ordered a whole nother shipment from Unique in the Creek. Boards and stuff. Um, lucky you. Uh, just because I, I'm starting to run it. No, I don't. I have a, quite a bit of mesh, but I'm run out of boards. Because when I'm doing this, I... Um, this is going to be awesome when it's done. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Uh, if I'm using Unique in the Creek boards, makes it so much simpler to do it. Certainly, if I was using a wreath, like a wire wreath form, which I, I think I have maybe four, um, it takes too long. Wreath, Unique in the Creek boards, yeah, there's no thought. You just make your stuff and stick it on the board. I mean, it's great. All right. Going on this side now. Good morning, good morning. I think you should make a clown wreath and send it to Doug Ford. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Lori, do you have... <laughs> yeah. Lori, can you do that and send it to Doug Ford? That'd be awesome. <laughs> That's a great idea. Uh, that's awesome. Oh, I wouldn't have thought of that, but kudos to you, my friend. Please do it. <laughs> that's funny. All right. Those would be very popular, I think. I think a lot of people, he could have be bombarded with clown wreaths. It's the whole back and forth stuff, right? Um, I'm going to send a matching one to Trudeau. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's the whole back and forth. I mean, I think what they did was, you know, they opened up stuff too fast initially. You're running out of boards. I'm scared mine won't get here. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm a nurse. I know. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Crazy times. You wouldn't want his job. I wouldn't want it either. Nope. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> I know, Lori, we were supposed to do a, a crafting thing in May. I don't think that's going to happen. Is that a small board? Yeah, yeah. It's a small flora board. Okay, this is the second row done. I'm going to cut these off. Snug them up. <clears throat> Clipping away. All right, so I'm going to continue with the 28 days of uh, Reese for an extended period. Two more weeks. So if I can get some stuff. Oh, I forgot to put one in there. Better put one in there. What kind of mesh is that? Just regular deco mesh? Yep. Do I want to put one in there? I'm going to wait to put that one in there because I might not put one in there. I'm going to just put it, start row three. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, I got to get distracted, you people. You can get the tool to pull and zip ties at Harbor where, oh, yeah, it's Canada, man. Go to, yeah, I think they can get them at um, Home Depot too, but <clears throat> we can't go in there. I think I'm keeping my ladybug. I hung it up and love it. <laughs> All right. Turning these. Okay. Moving. Okay, there's our second row going in. And see, I was going to put one here. I'm going to wait. Just make sure it's not the plastic one. Oh, no. No, don't get the plastic one. I heard that's brutal. This is like metal. 
Yeah. Thanks, Laura. Okay, so in we go. With row three. Got yours. I got mine on Amazon. How did you fold the mesh? You just found me on first time. Well, it's called a lolly petal. Um, yeah, it's a... Uh, you can go back and watch the replay and I'll show you how. I'm hoping summer, but probably not. I don't know. I know. I can't. Like, I was supposed to go up and see Ford at the end of April. Not happening. So now I'm looking at June. Things that do not make me happy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, for it to my friend. <laughs> he lives in Thunder Bay. I try to get up to see him as often as I can. But with all this COVID nonsense happening, I can't go. So I'm stuck home. Making wreaths. Doing stuff. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hey, Mar. All right. Going around here. Like I said, I'm going to put one here. I think I need to put one here between these two. So, I'm going to have to get... You're sorry you're late. Good morning. Oh, you're late from the park. I'm from London, Ontario, Canada. Home of the lockdown. I'm busting out in September for crafters convention, pandemic or not. Are you? I can't, um, I can't, uh, it won't be worth the two week quarantine when you get back for me, Laura. Because I'm still working a bit. And, uh, yeah, I can't, um, I can't deal with the quarantine crafters convention. I would love to go maybe next year. How many people go on to go to crafters convention, crafters convention? How many people? I would like to go to that. I think it's in the state somewhere, isn't it, Lori? Putting this in. Is that uh, Crafters Convention somewhere in the States? Michigan is just as crazy with their lockdowns too. Yeah. yeah. It is crazy. It's a crazy world we live in, people. Kitchener, yeah. Everywhere in Ontario is on lockdown. Like, everywhere. Um, you know what? I did that wrong. I'm going to put that this way. Yeah, I have to take this out. I have to take this out. I need a clipper. My aviation snips. <clears throat> I get distracted. I'm going to take this out. I'm gonna put it in the other way. Yes, you can. Where, where is the crafters convention, Laura? Sorry, I missed that. Yeah, I want to go too. I want to go to crafters convention. Oh, look at there. There's a cable tie gun fastener. Oh, that's it. That's the one. Okay, putting this again. Trying this again, people. Putting it in. Coming around the back. Where do you sell your beautiful wreaths? <laughs> well, <coughs> um, there's no craft shows. Uh, so mostly I get people that just, if they come on and watch, um, and they ask me if they can have it. I'm going to put that on in later. I'm going to keep going around here. Um, 
I usually say sure. I'm going to go this way. Um, I'm looking here. I'm going to put these in here. Um, yeah, people just say, can I have that wreath? Okay. But what I'm going to do is all the wreaths that have been sold so far today, I'm going to post them on my page. And if you guys want them, you just have to say me under the wreath when I post them. First person that post that puts please or me or yes please or whatever gets the uh, wreath. Now, uh, I am I have somebody that I'm shipping it. So shipping in Canada is crazy expensive. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I can ship them to the states. Um, but I would mess I will message you on what it would cost to ship it if you're not from London or the surrounding area. Um, and you can decide whether you want it. And then if you don't, then because of the shipping costs, then um, the next person that asked will get it. Okay. So I'm going to post them. You're from Connecticut. Yeah. Okay, guys. <clears throat> I'm waiting to see what I want to do to these top ones. But I'm going to show you this so far. Friend Scott Waterman runs Crafters Convention. Um, yeah, I want to go to that, Laura. We can do a Canadian contingent going to Crafters Convention. We can invade them. All right, so there's my one, two, third row done. Okay, see how, see how it's coming together, my friends? Too cute. Really cute. Watch them from Alabama. Welcome. Welcome to my page. Glad everybody's here. Going to the fourth row, putting this bad boy together for you. He's so funny. Yeah, I've watched him too. He's, yeah, funny. Ah, uh, lots of people. Okay, so I'm just doing two here. Two and two. Two on this side, two on the other side. And then I'm going to do it the opposite direction for the top part. Okay? So put this in here. Good morning from Kansas. Good morning. Scott's a hoot, yeah. Okay, cut these off. Cut them off. Just turn this. Came underneath there. There we go. Okay. Yep. So I think I'm going to do the opposite on that side. Okay. So I'm going to put these in, then I'll hold it up and show you what it looks like so far. Okay. And I'm going to tuck this underneath this one. Amish country. <laughs> Good morning from Akron, Ohio. Nice to see everybody. So if you're on here and you're watching this, could you go to my YouTube channel and uh, like and subscribe to that as well? Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, hey, welcome. <laughs> welcome to my cra crafting craziness I got going on. Another from Alabama. Alabama's in the house. Like it? I like it. Oh, good morning, guys. All the newbies. Between Ottawa and Cornwall. Nice. Okay, moving forward. Yeah, we're just typing that. Washington, Washington. Welcome from Washington. Okay, put this in. All right, yes, I will be posting this on my YouTube channel. All right. <clears throat> okay. So there's where we're at so far, guys. Coming to the end of the road for the mesh. Here we go. Have a look. Now, I... Okay, yeah. Good. And then this is the back. So, if you're using a Unique in the Creek board, there is nothing that's going to scratch that door. Nothing. Zero. Because I want to... Respace. 
Uh, it's a unique in the creek small flower board with some small modifications. <laughs> um, you want to make sure, uh, it doesn't matter what kind of a wreath you're making, that uh, the back of the wreath is not going to damage the board. Okay, So I always make sure, it doesn't matter what I'm making, um, that it, the door is protected. It's important, I think. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this petal, and I'm going to go this way. There we go. Got her now. Put this one in. Okay. Good morning from Cincinnati, Ohio. Good morning. What's happening, everybody? Okay. All right. So this, yes, it is a unique in the creek board. So you, if you're if you're never used a unique in the creek board. People say, oh, you make such beautiful stuff. You know, it's just practice, people, right? You just have to practice it. Um, I've only been using Unique in the Creek boards for probably six months. And I can honestly say I'm never going back to um, wire wreath forms. Nope. Because these are so easy. And the thought is, like, minimal. I know I love them, too cute is this guy? He's awesome. Okay, so there's all my mesh. Okay? All the mesh is in. Look. Look at it. That's where we're at right now. How cute is he? There's the back. Now, I will be posting on my page the grid that I used. For those of you that are late to the party. All right? So now I'm going to show you how I made the head, which my cat has taken off with. But basically, and I got these um, styrofoam half circles from Unique in the Creek. Uh, they weren't expensive. So much better. Like 100% better. Like totally. Um, and I just painted it black with regular paint. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. And then... Uh, put some Mod Podge on it. Uh, wait it for the black paint to dry. Put some Mod Podge on it. And this is uh, glitter. Just regular glitter. I got at Michael's here in Ontario, Canada. And sprinkled it. And it goes everywhere. And luckily I have someone who cleans my house. Because there's too much shit. Stuff all over the place. Sorry. Um, and then put another coat of Mod Podge on top of it when it dried. Right? So this is what it looks like. Very cute, very glittery. See it? Okay. So, and then I just affixed a Chanel stem to the back and put a little bit of um, foam just to continue. Cleanliness of the back of the board. Yeah, totally. All right. But I am going to put his antlers on for you guys so I can show you. So I got a new glue gun. And it is um, cordless, except I didn't buy rechargeable batteries. So I have to wait... To get my rechargeable batteries but how cool is this but it's plugged in because i didn't buy rechargeable batteries so i put two double a batteries in it and I'm like, why isn't this thing working and then i looked at the packaging and it said oh rechargeable batteries of course sorry called me late to the party here you missed the beginning well welcome anyway okay so i've got my chanel stem it's a bit wonky but i'm gonna fix it and I just want to put this on the top, antlers, yeah, antlers, whatever, <laughs> okay, and stick it in the top of this, just take my needle nose pliers, and I just make a hole, kind of in the center. You know what, maybe I'll do it after I put it on, let's do that. You can watch your replay as soon as you've done the live. Yes. Thank you, Lori. Let's put this on. So you see how there's a spot here at the top where this pedal is put in? I'm going to put them in there. So all I do was take this and I feed it through the existing hole. Like this. 
And this just covers up the rest of the board, my friends. Look. Cutie C. So cute. <laughs> and snug them up. <clears throat> snug it up, and I'll show you the back. I'm all about the back. Okay, guys? So here's the back, right, where I put in the, now just cut this part off, cut a little bit of it off, and you just feed these back through the hole. So once again, nothing is going to hurt the door, right? like this. <laughs> Thanks guys. You guys are awesome too. You guys are awesome too. We're all awesome. Hey look. Cute. Right? And this is the back. Cute. Painless man. Okay. Now take your nail and rose pliers and just make a hole at the top. Just twist it. And then I'm just going to shoot a little bit of hot glue into the top of Okay, of course I need more. Oh, God. Here we go. And yes, uh, <coughs> Gorilla Glue does fit into this uh, glue gun. Because if I couldn't, I wouldn't use it because I'm an I'm addiction to Gorilla Glue. And then just take this antlers that you've made for your antlers, stick that in, hold that for a second. That antlers are so cute. And I just clipped the antlers off a little bit because I kind of like them a little bit shorter. Clip. Bing them off. I just like to curl them out just a touch. Okay. Our ladybug is a sign of good luck. I'm going to hang them all over my house. Okay. Are you ready? Ready for the reveal of the ladybug? Look how cute that ladybug is. Well, a thumbs up if you think he's cute and deserves to be in your house because you guys can all make this. All of it. You guys can all make this. You just have to go to Unique in the Creek, buy the board, buy the mesh, right? Buy the, set, the heads. You can, like, they have everything. The zip ties. Everything. Now, I'm going to put little dots on them. On his uh, red parts because ladybugs have dots. I'm going to stand up to do this. So I just cut these out of foam and I just have eight little red dots. And I'm just going to hot glue them sort of onto the top of the wreath form. Just do this. And I kind of just went randomly. Just Held them in, and if you use Gorilla Glue, <laughs> they'll stay on there. I swear. But be generous with your glue. I'll put one there. It's very cute. You can make everything look so easy. He is cute. It is easy, Karen. Come on, my friend. If it wasn't easy, I wouldn't do it. Seriously. I wouldn't do it. Oh, this is cute. Oh, cute. Can't wait to get rechargeable batteries. 
that'll be fun. <laughs> Antler and tennis. They're, it's in the same, isn't it, Lori? Antlers, antennas, whatever. Oh. I just made these, I just cut circles out of, um, out of, uh, foam that I had. Just put one in here and one in here, maybe. And you know what I do with all my wreaths? I just hang them up and I stare at them. Uh, to see if there's anything else I need to put on it. They're good. They're good. Okay. So I may put a few more of these little circles on it. I don't know. We'll see. First time watching. Love this design. Thank you. There. So I don't think they need to be in a specific order. They just have to kind of look cute, right? <clears throat> you ready? <laughs> so cute. One of the best looking ladybugs I've seen. Well, thank you very much. You ready? Look. Look how cute he is. You love him? I do. What do you think, Laura? Did I do you proud, my friend, with my ladybug? All right. Thanks, guys. Okay, so that's my ladybug that we made on a Sunday morning in one hour. One hour. Well, it probably if you add up the amount of time that it took to cut the re the cut the mesh and stuff, yeah, it probably takes about three hours. Came out beautiful. Thank you very much. Okay, so cute. So cute. All right. So that was it for today. Now, thanks guys. Next week, we were going. I'm going to make the top choice that you guys had for week two of the lockdown rees. And are you ready to see which one it was? I'm gonna show you. Getting up. This is what you guys decided on. I am going to make this one next Sunday. Um, <laughs> it won't be in this, this particular color because I only had two rolls of this and it takes two full rolls of 10 inch mesh. But this is what we're going to make next Sunday. At nine o'clock, and yes, I will have most of the petals already made because it takes a ridiculous amount of time. Perfect. Yes, I know everybody wanted that. Number ten, number ten. Yes, it's number ten. I know. Yeah, it's good. Okay, guys. Very cute. Yes, nice. Okay, guys. So that's what's happening today. And um, I've ordered this mesh. It's not the same color they don't have anymore. Love the color. I know. I will. I'll show you how to fold the petals. Yep. Um, and then what I'm going to do later on this afternoon is uh, post all the wreaths that, uh, if you guys want them, somebody at, please post them if you have any for sale. I'll post that later. Number 10. Yep. Oh, sparkly. Yeah, very sparkly. Um, and very glit. There's quite a bit of glitter in it. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do next week. <clears throat> I will post the grid for the ladybug for you guys to see. Um, anyways, that's it today. That's it for today, guys. I got to be busy. Maybe I might make a couple of uh, just in case wreaths, like just in case they don't have time to make a wreath for our extended lockdown. Yeah, I'm going to keep going. Keep going till I run out of stuff. Anyways, that's it for today, guys. If you live in Ontario, stay safe, my friends. Love you all. Have a great day. Bye now. Bye.